all right guys good evening okay so we are going to try question two three and four yeah so we will we'll first we'll first deal with the two okay so the two question two is saying that prove that the line joining the midpoints of a median to a vector of it of the triangle trisects the side opposite the vectors considered okay so there are some key points that you need to you need to note midpoints median and a vertex so what is a vertex what is a median what is a midpoint i think we already know what a midpoint is okay so suppose we have a triangle a b c All right now the vectors of the triangles or the vectors of a triangle is just the points the corners you can see that or you can see the vector is just um the point of intersection between the sides of the triangle. So this is the vector B, this vector A, this vector C. Now a median is just um, a line which is drawn from the vertex of a triangle to the side of a triangle. So a median actually is just um, it's just it's just any line drawn from the vector that divides the triangle into two equal halves or into two equal parts. So this will be my median AD right so this line a the divides this triangle a b c into two equal halves meaning that the point d here is a midpoint because it divides the line b and c into two equal parts right and the question say is also saying that now there is a line join the midpoint of the median so it means the median itself has a midpoint here so we call that midpoint m right and there's a line joining that midpoint of the median okay so May we draw the line to join the midpoint of this median. That's it. That's so this is the line. So the line joining the midpoint of the median of the triangle tries to the side opposite. So opposite the vectors considered. So the vectors considered is, is B, right? This is the vectors considered, right? And when we draw the line passing through the midpoint of the median, it will touch the side opposite the vectors, which is what AC. So we'll call this part E, right? Okay. So we want to prove that this line actually trisects this line AC. That's what we want to prove. In other words, we want to prove that um, probably the ratio AE is to EC is actually let's say um, one is to two. This one, one, this is actually what we want to prove, or two is to one, depending on how you draw your diagram, right? Okay. So we are going to use position vectors and I'm going to use the idea of ratio theorem, right? Now I did a little video on the a little concept on the ratio theorem. So I think you guys should watch that. So based on the concept of position vectors and ratio theorem, if I say let's O A O B and you can see where this O E B position vectors for A, B, C, D, E, M respectively so since if this if this is a midpoint means my d is giving us what b plus c over two because it's a midpoint right my m is also a midpoint of ad so m is also what a plus d over two now we want to prove that e trisects the line ac right so we want to so we want to, we want to prove that maybe e is some two a plus e some 2 a plus c over 3 now remember the line you see now if you if you if you understood the the ratio theorem very well right that e is actually a um, what's name it's a point that device is it, it device ac internally and this e also device bm externally do, do you see i hope you guys see it E device AC internally and this same E device ABM externally. So in other words, my E here, I, I can prove that E is actually a trisect this line AC and also device BM externally. So this is what we, that's what we are going to do. All right, so we are just going to use what we have. So we want to prove, so look at what's always, picture what you want to prove. We want to prove that E trisect this line or E device AB internally so in the ratio of one is the same. so in other words to prove that e is something like this i also want to prove that that same e trisects 
sorry that same may device the line bm externally so externally we want to prove that maybe e some let's say some um let's say four four m minus let's say b over three it's something like this it doesn't mean it's equal to that that's so you, if you can picture that in your mind you know that we this what we're heading towards so from these two equations you can say that 2d is b plus c and 2m is what is a plus d now since we are interested in variables like a c m and b we can clearly state that we don't need d so we get rid of the d so let's call equation one equation two so from equation two your d is what 2m minus a so just substitute this into equation one so that you get two into bracket 2m minus a equal b plus c this is 4m minus 2a equal b plus c remember a and c belongs to, belongs to one side and m and b belongs to one side because e divides bm and e divides ac right so i'm going to group like them so how 4m minus b equal 2a plus c right so this is what i have okay now there's only one thing missing and what is that Divisible side by three, divisible side by three. So this is actually equal to what? E. So my E divides BM externally in the ratio of four is to one, and that E divides AC internally in the ratio of in the ratio two is to one or one is to two. I hope this makes sense. So, um, so this is the end of this video. Please, um like our like this video and also subscribe and one last thing um if you have any other concern or issue regarding regarding the, the course maybe you don't you don't understand your lecture you like you're, you're totally confused you don't you don't really understand what is going on um i think i will recommend that you you sign up with a private tutor and i recommend excellence inc so the tutors in excellence including myself will take our time to go through every detail of your notes step by step so that you understand every bit of it then we will also make sure that we solve plenty of questions and plenty of examples so that you know how to solve and tackle some of these questions all right so good luck and all the best